Tonight's next honoree has spent more than 50 years literally making the world a better place by building it. Roads, hospitals, utilities from coast to coast. Read his bio. I guarantee you have driven past, over, or around something that he has built. The thing that strikes me is how much of that building has been done in relative anonymity. Now, granted, his name is on all his companies, and there have been about 100 bills, bells that have gone to Aquinas. I think I went to school with 50 of them myself. <laughs> and if anybody in the room can understand the fact that when you say bell, it's not a particularly distinguishing last name, it would be me, that brown. <laughs> what you probably don't know is the tens of thousands of dollars that he has donated to St. Pius to help keep that parish on its feet and to build the future of its youth with the Aquinas Scholarship. Hundreds of thousands more have been raised through the Aquinas Golf Classic. And it's not just the big things either. You probably don't know that in 1982, the ropes for the mission bouts were found ruined a week before the bouts. He found new ropes and, with some sewing genius from his wife, made sure that the belts and the bouts were ready to go on time. He also built something that will last long after any of his wonderful structures. An example. His brother helped run the golf tournament with him. His kids go over every scholarship applicant. You know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Well, this Aquinas child raised the village. Tonight, let us, let's distinguish his name like never before. Please welcome to the podium our distinguished alumnus winner, class of 1957, Bob Bell. Now, 
up. You gotta listen up right now. I want to introduce to you my bride of three and a half months, Sandy. Would you please take note? Sandy is an accomplished artist. And I don't think there's anybody in this room that could picture me with an artist. <laughs> <laughs> but anything can happen when you're in Quinas Square. <laughs> no, Mike yesterday started talking about the things our family has done for Aquinas. And I like to think about it the other way around. I like to think about what Aquinas has done for us. He's given us great education. After all, my brother Tom and I, we almost made the honor roll. <laughs> Maybe ten percent shot. <laughs> I think it was probably the uh, algebra that took us down. <laughs> but my children all made the honor roll, and now I have two granddaughters that are at Aquinas, Caroline and Audrey, that are both on the same town So. Taking three generations. One is uh, another thing, what Aquinas has done for me is given me 61 years of the greatest friend a guy could ever have. Also, there was a great, glorious day in the fall when we stomped all over the place. I always said I never loved Aquinas, but Aquinas never loved me. When, after, a few years after I got uh, married, I bought a home on Seneca Parkway. And we lived there on Seneca Parkway, right next to the Rileys, who are all here tonight. And uh, we, uh, uh, my, my oldest daughter was at Nazareth, and my oldest son was going to start Aquinas uh, the next year. And we, uh, decided to move to Chile. And everybody said, boy, that's how we got the planning. And you got, you got a daughter in Nazareth, and a son to start a planning. And you're going to move from the street right next to a planning out to Chile. <coughs> so we made the move, and we moved to the street Mike mentioned earlier, Old Ivy Circle. <laughs> The whole street was a point. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had the camera, and the O'Donnell's, and the Zybos, and the Andy and the Cummings, and they all, all the kids went to Aquinas. And it was fantastic. So Aquinas <laughs> just followed me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I told the kids yesterday, you know, when they uh, graduate and go on to college and then get out with the rest of their lives, come back to a point. It's been a big part of my life and it will continue to be. Thank you all for reading.